Hello and thank you for tuning in to Auto e Clinic. My name is Aaron and this is Michael. Today we're going to touch on a part of the car that's a maintenance item and that's called the fuel filter. The fuel filter is a highly overlooked maintenance item on the car and the longer it goes unreplaced the more damage it can cause to the fuel pump. The fuel filter simply removes any kind of contaminants or trash from the fuel pump or the fuel tank or the fuel and over time will eventually get stopped up. So it is a very important component on your car. Today we're going to replace the fuel filter on a 1999 Chevrolet Impala. And on this, it's located in the rear, close to the fuel tank. So what do you say? Let's get started, Mike. Let's get started. All right. It's a very simple process. We've got one bolt holding the bracket. On the GMs, I always use a 16 millimeter and a 20 millimeter. To remove the bolt on line. Here's your quick disconnect. See these, I believe they're pushed down on the top. You just simply push the top in and then release. Make sure to swap your bracket back over. Bracket up. And at this point, tighten the other end up. And that's it. Once you get the fuel filter replaced, what you want to do is prime the pump. The way you're going to do this is you're going to actually cycle the ignition switch three times. And every time you cycle it to the on position, you're going to let it set about three seconds. What's going to happen, this is going to reduce your start time. One important step when changing your fuel filter you want to remember is to relieve the fuel pressure. One of the easiest ways to do this is to find a fuel pump relay or fuel pump fuse. You can check your owner's manual for that. Uh, find the location, remove that. Then what you want to do is you want to crank the car, let the car run until it dies. What happened? It's using the fuel in the system and then it's relieving the pressure. So just don't forget to re reinstall the fuse or the relay after you get done. Yeah, we forgot to do that out there as you can see on the video. Uh, luckily there was no open flame or anything. And in the garage setting, since I do this every day professionally, it's not a big deal for me, but uh, the novice, the amateur, the first time around, you know, you want to make sure you go ahead and pull your relay or fuse. They're pretty easy to get to. Yeah. You can find an owner's manual or call a local garage even. Go ahead and pop that, let the fuel drain out after running the vehicle, and then it's a much safer environment at that point exactly. to change the, <laughs> the filter. Uh, now, Aaron, since you're in the parts business, what do you uh, think of as far as the quality of the filter? Uh, do you care about dealer or aftermarket, or as long as it's a good quality? I think as long as it's a good quality. It doesn't have to be a dealer item. It doesn't have to be aftermarket specifically. You can go with either one. The biggest thing you don't want to do is use a cheap filter. And what will happen, sometimes those filters will come apart inside. It will clog up the system and thus burning up your fuel pump, costing you a lot of money. Okay, I agree. And uh, frequency is something also that I'm a pretty big stickler on. Mm -hmm. I believe in 30,000 miles. Exactly. Uh, you believe the same thing there? Yeah, at least every 30,000 miles because you don't want it to stop up with contaminants either and do the same thing and burn your pump out. It's just not that expensive. I mean, every 30,000 miles in the grand scheme of things, if you're going to save, you know, even six months or a year on that pump of the life of it, it's really, really worth it at that point. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Also, we want to talk about the newer cars that come with yes. fuel pumps with the fuel filter made into it, basically just like a strainer or sock on it with no serviceable fuel filter. Uh, what's your idea on that? Not a fan. Not a fan. I'm not sure why uh, the manufacturers, and uh, most of your uh, domestic manufacturers are going to that now, mm -hmm. your big three. And I'm assuming it's because they're saving cost probably 12 or 13 cents per <laughs> yeah. car. But no, in the long run, I don't see it as a good idea whatsoever. You no. need a serviceable, replaceable fuel filter because you're going to get contaminants. You're going to have trash. Exactly. There's no way around it. So with that fuel filter that you get replaced, you can actually get rid of that trash and pop on a new one. Now, mm -hmm. you know, I guess you're replacing the pump at that point. That's the only way to do it. Exactly. <laughs> 
Well, I greatly appreciate you for watching e Auto E Clinic today. Uh, check us out on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, look us up on Facebook, like us there. That way we keep up with the newest updates and the videos that come out. So we greatly appreciate it today. Absolutely. And remember, it's okay for a man to wear a dress after 5 o'clock. After.